Hello, and welcome back to Diamond Shine with Shanta. Um, today, I would like to do an unboxing. Um, this canvas is from Diamond Art Club. As you can see by the box, it's a square. And the canvas is called Over and Under. Um, this was a part of the um, fifth year anniversary, the 40 paintings that were released Saturday. And I chose two. I chose this one. And I chose Lead Me Tonight. I'm going to unbox that one as well. So again, um, over and under. It is 92 centimeters by 65 centimeters. Um, square drills. And I know I said I was, I'm trying not to buy too many large ones. And I'm not. Oh, sorry. But I really like this canvas. to get this out of here. Goodness. Y'all hear that thud? It's like a, having a brick. So this is the small sticker that's enclosed. Um, some people put this on the side of their box, kind of like this or like this, um, so you would know what's in your box when you store them. I like to use it in my log book, um, but it just gives you all the information about the painting. Um, also, I forgot to mention the artist is Mark Gregory. I've never heard of him before. Um, he may be new to Diamond Art Club. I need to look and see. Then we get into the tool kit. I'm already excited because I got another teal pen. Oh, and another macaron. Yes, yeah, so now I have green, teal, and yellow. I want them all. I hope I can get them all, y'all. And I got another teal pen, which is just so pretty. I love it. Because it's a square, we get um, a pair of um, tweezers. Very, very sharp tweezers. And we get a white tray um, with a stopper. Um, some washi tape. It's real pretty. Just kind of a, a pastel lines in a sense. Real pretty. We get a um, bag of baggies. A seven and a four placer and then you get two pads of heart-shaped wax in the container and if this is your first time diamond painting I always peel this um, plastic back So of course it comes in the um, dust bag. It says Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. I keep my paintings in this bag and I put them back in the box and I store them that way. Well, we know this is gonna be a big one. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I'm in love, y'all, with the colors. I'm in love with all of the sea elements. I can always tell. And I'm so glad I got this painting. I have sunken ship on my list to do this year. Oh my gosh, but this one is just as, it's just as pretty, if not more pretty. So we have it all in frame, but it is a big one. <coughs> okay, so this canvas, it has a legend at the um, top left and the bottom right. This canvas has 67 colors. Um, out of those 67 colors, let's take a look. Let's see, it has three ABs and one special diamond. So I'm gonna be very interested to see um, what that is. And then this also is a um, sticker sheet that has the um, legend symbols that you can use to um, label your containers when you're kitting up. It also has a very nice image 
of the um, painting. I really put both of these in my book if I can fit them both in there. And it also shows you the dimensions of the painting. Oh my goodness. Oh, also is included is a start and end date if you want to write on this. You can. As we look at the drills, the drills are labeled over and under. So if you store your drills separately from your canvas, they're labeled. Look at these beautiful colors, oh my goodness. And look at the amount of colors. Canvas is so pretty. Actually, I think I want to go over the canvas first before I get all those drills out. Just kind of look at some of the elements. I'm going to kind of zoom in further so everyone can see all of the canvas elements. Okay. So if we start down here, we have a clownfish, a sea turtle. Um, I'm not sure. I think this is might be a no, it's not an angel fish. I'm not sure what kind of fish that is. But then we have all kind of beautiful coral in the background. It should come up a little bit more. We have two jellyfishes, a dolphin, some other beautiful fish. Then as we kind of go over a little bit more. On this side, is which is one of my favorite sides of the painting, is this pearl in this um, oyster shell, you have more coral. Over here on this side, and you have this gigantic octopus, <laughs> a shark. Um, oh, what are these things called? The little flat man. I think they're called manta rays. I think. I'll check. I think it's a manta ray. That to me looks kind of like a sea otter. You can see the manta ray, the manta ray, sea otter, shark. And so all this is what's the under part. Then like the kraken, another fish. It's kind of an ugly fish. And then when you then we go to the above part. Above the water. So above the water, to me, y'all, this looks like reminds me of a volcano. Could be um, um, just a mountain, but I'm going to feel like it's a volcano. Because I feel like this is somewhere in Hawaii or something. Another big, big old dolphin. I think these are maybe orcas. An orca. And to me, it's like the sun is setting. That's why the background is pink. And then we also have a big old sea turtle beached on the beach. Some of the octopus's um, legs is coming out of the water. This is um, starfish. It's just a beautiful, beautiful canvas. Birds. I mean, it's so many things to find and discover um, on this canvas. So, I just love it. All right, let's take a look at the drills. Sorry for the printing. We're going to start off with our little lonely pack of um, Z165, which is a fairy dust diamond. I hope you all can um, see the, the glitter in the camera, hopefully. I don't know why I keep saying this, but these strands are just getting longer and longer and longer. Look how long this is. We have um, two bags of 370, Lord, 3778. One bag of 936, 3731. Two bags of 310, that's not bad for this big painting. Two bags of 3849, um, 898, 604. 995. That's one of the blues that I really love. It's a real, real pretty blue. 434. 738. 
And we have two bags of 38.45. That is also another real, real pretty blue. Just beautiful. Then we have 33.50. Four thirty-five, six hundred. Oh, this these pinks are just gonna be so pretty. And then we have a gigantic bag of one thirteen, which is our first AB, which stands for Aurora Borealis. It is just a standard drill with the iridescent coating on top. Then we have nine fifty-six. We have our 141 Diamond Art Club. They love 141. We have two bags of 739, two bags of 939, have a bag of 602. No, excuse me, two bags of 602. We have two bags of 602, two bags of 931. I'm going to need some big containers for this painting because it is lots of two bags. 3803, 3861. We have two bags of 750, 943, 414, 162, 581, 938, 605, 3835. Our next AB is 131. Kind of a, I don't know what this color is. Kind of a yellowy, yellowy orange. I bet it's going to be in the fish. Because a lot of those fish have yellow in them. Um, 327, 740, 415, 3766. Sorry, it's so, so long. 498, 3833, 741. Another bag of 141. First, I thought I had did the same strand twice, but no, it's two bags. I had like a brain for them, like if I messed up, which y'all know was possible. <laughs> 336 and 436. And then our last little bit of stragglers, what I call the little baby amounts. 3607, 209, 797, 318, 718, 3830, 3863, 3776. Oh, I love this color. 3819, 3809, 164, 947, 611, 3790, 743, 900. I don't know if I've ever seen 900 before. Interesting. 699. 702, one of my favorite greens, 794, and last but not least, 701. Um, and we're going to try to take a quick look and see where the fairy dust goes and where the um, ABs go. I'm going to start with the fairy dust diamond. It is in the shape of a clover. And... This is so big. It wasn't that many of them. So maybe it's in the sunset because I don't see it in any of the fish. Hmm. I don't see clover. Oh, okay. It is. It's in some of the fish. Okay. Pull this down here. A bit. Just a smidge. So it's in this fish right here around his mouth. A little bit in right here in his um, um fin in this fish and it's a different color than I was looking for too. It's kind of a, 
a lime greeny looking color, even though it's yellow. I'm trying to see if it's oh, okay. It's in the coil down here. So it's all kind of just a little bit in little lines and little areas of the coral. Okay. Do we see any more? Any more? It's not in the trees. I think that's it for the fairy dust diamond. So pretty much it's in the coral and it's in that um, one fish to make him kind of stand out. So our next is going to be It's going to be number one, which is the pink AB. And so if we start down here, we have number one in the edge of the coral. All up in here. You have number ones in this coral as well. Um, some on this fishy right here. Um, I don't see any in the jellyfish. Let's come over here to the Kraken. I bet the Kraken. Actually, it's not a Kraken. Octopus, excuse me. I'm so used to doing the Kraken one and saying the Kraken. Okay, so it is some in the octopus. All just kind of outlining him all around. So this Kraken is full of um, AB. I mean, literally just completely outlining almost everything is ones. I mean... It's everywhere. So this um, octopus is going to be really, really beautiful. And I do not see any in the sky. So pretty much it's going to be um, highlighting the octopus and then this pink fish right here and the, and the pieces of pink coral. Oh, and it's a little bit in the pearl. A little bit in the pearl down here, which I think is so cute. That's one of the things that um, drew me to this painting. Our next AB is that yellow AB, symbol number two, which I'm going to say is in the fish. I'm going to start down here. And yes, it's in this fish, in his mouth. It's um, outlining this fish. It's in the jellyfish right here. It's not any in this jellyfish, though. But then if you come down here, it's in this fish right here. This fish is in this fish. It's in this fish. It is highlighting the areas down here of the seaweed um, or sea plant. And then if we come over more, it is in this um, coral around here. It's also in the starfish up here on the beach. It's in this fish right here. Twos are everywhere, except I don't think they're in the... Yes, it's a little bit up here in the sunset, too. So let me pull that down a little bit so you can see. It's a little bit around in the sunset. This is going to be so pretty. Oh, my goodness. And then for the last AB, which is the white AB, which I have two bags of, so we know. Um, so we can just pretty much say anywhere on this canvas where you see white is going to be AB. So if we start down here. It's on the clownfish, all up in here. It's all in the jellyfish. In this jellyfish, it's um, highlighting the sea turtle in his mouth on the dolphin's nose. It is dotted in the water right here. If you go up on this side, it's also dotted where the... And this might be a whale or something. I don't know. Or, or a dolphin. I guess it's a dolphin. And then was those are orcas. Well, the dolphins coming out of the water. All the little white dots is white. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see. All these little white dots is why they be. All of the dots, excuse me, on this side is why they be highlighting on the orca. The little sun setting is why they be. I mean, everything you see that's white is a B. I mean, literally. All this, 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 in the birds, in the sea turtle's mouth, it's all white AB. In the manta ray, all up in here. I mean, it's everywhere. And then it's in the shark. It's also in the little sea otter. And if we come down on this side, of course, it's in the um, oyster shell. It's in the pearl. It's a dotted around. And then our uh, ugly fish has got some white AB too.
Y'all, this canvas is going to be so beautiful. It just is. Well, guys, um, for this canvas, um, I'm almost certain that it's sold out. <clears throat> I still will link it in my description box um, so that you can put a notification notice in if you if you like this canvas. I think it's beautiful. If you have never done a big canvas or maybe you want to try one, I think this will be a good one to do because of um, a couple reasons. It's lots of um, different elements to keep you interested. You won't get bored. And it really is beautiful. Um, so, like I said, I'm going to link it in my description box below. I hope everyone is having a great day today. I just want to thank everyone for my, watching my video. Excuse me. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.